Tom here from Lawrence Systems, and you can't talk about getting started with a PFSense without talking about what you're going to run PFSense on. And with the release of 2301 PFSense Plus here in February of 2023, and I believe the soon to be released PFSense CE 2.7, I've been playing with the development builds of that, I'm going to be doing some new videos on getting started with PFSense. But I wanted to make this video as a reference to answer this question that comes up anytime people start talking about, I want to start with PFSense of what should I be running it on? Obviously, if you have hardware laying around, that's awesome. You can run it on that. It runs on a lot of great x86 hardware. Please use Intel network cards. Please quit trying to use Realtek and complaining about all the problems that come with Realtek. If you have, and you can find these used on eBay relatively cheap, you can get Intel network cards relatively cheap. That's just end of story on that when it comes to support for network cards. The BSD-based operating system works best with those. Everything else is kind of, meh, I wouldn't recommend it. But getting back to the topic of what about the NetGate hardware versus the insert name of some of the Quotan Top 10 Yanling Minsys uh, Protectly, like I have right here. Um, what about those compared to the NetGate hardware? And why does Tom keep recommending NetGate hardware? Is it because he's sponsored? No, I'm not sponsored by NetGate at all. I have no financial affiliation with them. We just like PFSense a lot. We deploy it a lot in businesses. We do a lot of consulting as part of network integrations when we're replacing IT infrastructure in NetGate and the PF Sense product is something we use a lot in that rebuild of people's networks and consulting and integrations. Now, we also use this for the customers that we directly support, not just the consulting work we do. So overall, we've installed a lot of these devices. And yes, we have bought some of these Protect Heli and Kotam and other boxes as well. So I want to give my experience I've had with these and share some of the details about how they work. Now I wanna start with why we choose NetGate hardware. And there's a few reasons here. And one of the first ones that may not be obvious to everyone, but that's how PFSense gets funded as well. NetGate takes the money from hardware and yes, pays developers, including ones who contribute upstream to BSD and other related open source projects. And that's how the funding works. Because you're contributing code to the greater good of the open source ecosystem and giving it away, that doesn't put you in some magical position where someone else just takes care of all of your expenses and needs and pays your bills for you. People have to have a job where the money comes from, and that's the mechanism by which PFSense is funded is via NetGate. So I want to make sure that's pretty clear in case it wasn't, but it is an important little aspect of it. Now, next, some of the really strong business use cases of why you do it. And that's really simple. PFSense being that NetGate funds it, NetGate also takes the time to design their hardware guaranteed to work with PFSense, current version and future versions, because that's where the testing is going to occur. They also take the time to benchmark the devices and they post the details of those benchmarks. And this is really important when you are choosing a firewall for a business, they may have a certain spec they need to meet, or they may have a number of VPN users and a speed they need to meet with those. Having the raw routing speeds, the iMix routing speeds, the VPN routing speeds, both raw and iMix, so you can kind of gauge the traffic that you have and see if there's a box that matches the profile, that's really important. And having the support from NetGate on that because you want a predictable outcome is great. And when you buy their hardware, they don't just say it works with PFSense, they guarantee it works with all the different scenarios you may throw PFSense at. So it's not just about booting it up and saying, yeah, route some traffic. It will route at the speeds they posted on their site because they took the time to test and benchmark them. Now let's talk about the other devices, such as this Quotom. And specifically from this Amazon listing, Quotom Best Router, Q750G5 Intel Celeron. And you can see I purchased three of these. Last one was about August 30th. This is currently the one I'm running at home and I'll offer my opinion on it. Works quite well. I haven't had any problems with it. I wanted to do some testing at home and well, I swapped firewalls back and forth. I actually only recently put this in at home. It was in our lab at work. So yeah, we kind of move these around and we like to test different things because we know a lot of you, the audience wants to know about them and who's better to test it than people who will do complicated configs and see how they hold up, such as having a privacy VPN, routing a bunch of traffic in an HA proxy setup, and top PNG, uh, Zabbix, WireGuard, TailScale, got all the different things running on this. And I've also switched this over the PFSense Plus. So it is current running the latest current 2301. This has the two and a half gig Intel uh, network cards on there. And my overall feelings are this thing works great. Now that sounds like a glowing recommendation, 
But let's now get a little bit more detailed because some people just wanted to have the question answered. Will it work with PFSense? Did you do a lot of testing with it? Yeah, brief testing. Let's go back over to why we have a couple dead devices in front of me. We didn't buy that many of these particular Protect Lee devices. These particular ones also are from 2018. And they're out of warranty, obviously, but they kind of just died on me. We actually had a few of them die. I posted on Twitter and that conversation kind of, well, got bigger on Twitter. People talking about their experience as well was kind of similar as mine. We have bought substantially more NetGate hardware than we have any Quotoms or any of these other devices. Matter of fact, the Protect Lee devices are a little bit different than some of the other ones I mentioned because they actually have a nicer website and they seem to have some BIOS updates. But that Quotom, the one I'm using, for example, there is a new BIOS update, but there's not even as much as a readme as to what is contained in the new BIOS update. And, you know, to reduce suspicions, I did upload the BIOS and a few other files from their site over to Virus Total. Didn't find anything in there, but nonetheless, it's kind of weird when there's no readme and there's just a new version and no clear reason whether or not I should load that new version or what fixes or changes to suspect on that. And that's where these devices kind of fall flat. Now, I get it for home users and especially home users that are in the European markets and some of the other markets that are outside the US, I know prices can be substantially higher on NetGate and that Cotom box with only a $201 price tag here in the US, that's a pretty tempting price for a firewall. By the way, I did link it down below if you wanna buy one off Amazon because hey, that's an affiliate link I do have and I get it. It's like I said, it may fit your budget as a home user, but if you're a business, I just can't really recommend these and we don't deploy these anymore to business scenarios where we need absolute reliability, predictability, and all the other reasons I said that makes me choose the NetGate hardware. Now, I don't exactly know why these failed. I did take a closer look at the board to see if there's something obvious, but I don't have the skills or the tools that Lewis Rossman does to do a real deep dive in a board level diagnostic on these. Um, but the failure modes we experience are some of these, the lights come on, some of them they fail and the lights don't come on. And yes, of course, we tried other power supplies, hard drives, memory. There's not even anything to give me even a clue as to why they're no longer working. If they just worked until they didn't without any warning signs. And that may be fine for a home user. It's annoying as a home user if you suddenly don't have internet. Maybe it does disrupt your work if you work from home. But for a business and building these into a reliability of infrastructure for IT, I don't really trust them enough to do that. So that's kind of my opinion I wanted to leave you with here from my experience of using all these different variety of boxes. And we're gonna continue testing and you know, using one at my studio here where if it goes out, I'm gonna go down the street to my office and go grab another box I have on the shelf or later on, I'll probably swap this out to a net gate. Another one of my employees will take this one home or whatever change up we do, no big deal. For a business and that disruption where you have to go out there and schedule time to do it, I don't feel it's really worth the risk. We always want to support PFSense. We want to support NetGate and we want to use those devices. And we even keep spare NetGates at the office to make sure we have one in case something does happen to a client so we can properly support them. And it's really easy when you are swapping from the same device. If there's a failure where I grab that last config loaded on the same model device, there's no monkeying around. I know I can get that customer up quickly. Um, these aren't the most consistent. Matter of fact, something I thought was interesting as these were ordered relatively close together, but there are slight differences in them. They both have four ports. They both have the same Intel chipset, but there's slight differences such as not even having the RJ45 serial adapter on one of them. But nonetheless, like I said, I just wanted to throw my opinion out there and have this video as a reply when people ask me, what should I get or why do you keep suggesting Nick Gate so often? Are they sponsored by them? Which I'm not, but this is my reasoning as to why. Ultimately, the decision is yours to make. I just want to throw this out there. Leave your thoughts and comments down below and thank you.